What's up, my fitness family? Brent Kasmer here with BKPT. Brent Kasmer, personal training. And I have a killer chest and tricep workout for you. Wow, the crowd goes wild. Hopefully you guys are excited. We got some awesome techniques and exactly to get the most out of your workout. So what makes it a killer chest and tricep workout? When your crap is blowed out, man. So when you feel good, you're pumped up and you walk out of the gym nice and slow. So that's the goal and that's what I want to teach you. All right. So if you haven't yet subscribed, definitely subscribe. Mash that notification bell, the way you're notified as all our new content is dropped. Because I want to show you all the most relevant stuff out there. Making sure that you guys got all the tricks, tips, all that fun stuff. All right. So we're going to start off with two tri-sets, a drop set, and two supersets. So all this stuff should be knocked out in about 30 to 45 minutes max. Okay. So you want to make sure that you're not talking to a camera. What? No, I'm just kidding. So you want to make sure that you're just getting through your exercises. Nothing is too fast. You want everything to be controlled, but at the same time, you want to make sure like you're pushing it. You're not you're like sitting there answering text messages, checking your Instagram, Snapchatting with somebody. You want to be pushing through your workout. Set up your do not disturbs. Put your workout on your phone, your watch, all that stuff, and then that way you can bang it out. All right. So let's hold back. Not anymore. So we're gonna start off, our first tri set is going to be an incline chest fly, cable, one arm. Second exercise is gonna be an upper chest shrug. Third exercise is a barbell incline bench press. All right, so here we go. We're gonna do four sets of this first one. The reason why I'm doing incline first is because of the fact that I wanna make sure I give most of my energy to the upper part of my chest. So you want to make sure that you're getting the most out of it by building lagging areas. So a lot of times people will go in and dive in and start banging out the flat bench or chest dips because they're super strong at it, right? But then you're finishing up with upper chest and you're weak already because it's a harder exercise or you're mentally weaker with it because of the fact that it's a harder exercise. Um, you're not quite as strong, but at the same time, you're hitting it at the end of your workout, so therefore you're not able to make as many gains in that upper chest as you would as if you hit it at the beginning. Wow, I just laid it out there for you. Hopefully you guys love that. Pop in the comments, you guys got it, you understand it. That's why you hit lagging body parts first. But it's your chest, I get it. It's your chest, it's all your chest. But there's three different areas of your chest. And you want to make sure that it's all developed to its best ability. All right. So let's roll, baby. All right. So we're going to start with an uh, incline chest fly. I'm going to do this with a single arm. I like doing cable single arm flies. Two reasons. One, so that way you can kind of make minor adjustments to make sure you're hitting it in the perfect spot. You want to make sure you see that upper chest popping. Okay. So when you're hitting it, you want to make sure that that upper chest pops. Just like that. We're gonna do 10 reps. I'm going right past that midline. That way you get a good full contraction on that upper chest. So you have to get past the midline of your chest to get the full contraction. <clears throat> This is not supposed to be like a max out exercise. This is just to get the blood to the right area. I'm not getting it right. There we go. Nine, ten. All right. We're going to go to an upper chest shrug right here. Okay. So grabbing a dumbbell. Same thing. I'm not, my goal is not to go crazy heavy on these two. My main goal is to hit the incline bench heavy. Two. Six. Seven. Eight. All right. So eight. One.
four. These exercises are done to help separate your muscles. All right, so you just want to use them to help separate between your clavicle pectoral, your pec major, and then also lower part of your chest. All right, here we go. You always want to make sure you grab the bar in the same spot every time, tucking those toes behind your knees. Six reps. All right, all right, so back to the top. Incline chest fly. Same thing like I told you. It's not to go super heavy. It's just to get some separation in that upper chest. Training the blood where to go. So pop in the comments if this is the same technique you use when training body parts. <sighs> Using an isolated joint movement followed by uh, some compound joint movements. Target. And also pop in the comments if you understood the fact that you get why you would train your upper chest first to get it some stimulation so that way it's growing a little bit faster than it was growing. Um, you know, you can go back to hitting it later in the workout so that way but there's many ways to build your splits. All right, that's feeling pretty good, man. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Set three of four. So, feeling good? Got the blood going now. Do you like using cables for your flies in general, or do you primarily like using dumbbells? Eight, nine, ten. All right. So, also with those flies, We'll make sure you're not getting a lot of elbow movement. It's kind of in a fixated position. That way you're not <coughs> hitting some bicep curls in there as well. You wanna make sure you're just moving at that shoulder. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Alright. Good looking. 
Yeah. All right. So set three. Here we go. Six reps. Six reps. Six reps. Make sure you get all the foundation properly set up. Toes, bar, grip. Squeeze them tight. Wrists are locked. Fight. Here we go. Oh my, we got one last set, one last set, let's get a little scary, right, what do you think, five or ten, oh, I heard you, I only want to go five, but I think you guys are hating on me out there, want me to drop this weight on my face, alright, I'll try it, are you scared, come on. I set. Come on. I know it. It's a cruel world we live in. All you haters. I really feel it on that side. Eight, upper chest shrugs. <sighs> Come on, we're pumping. Squeeze it tight. All right. I didn't drop it on my face, but I didn't make six. If you were here spotting me, I would have got them all. <sighs> all right, so we're moving into our next exercise, which is gonna be a pullover, chest dip, and a decline chest fly. All right, so let's strip this down a little bit. Actually, all the way down. So I'm gonna steal some of these 45s. So. So decline chest fly, as you can imagine, we're coming down and up and under. Actually, you know what, let's do it this way. So the angles here, coming down, you want to follow this area here. So you're staying tall, not leaning forward, like most people will do. It's typically a little heavier. Two reason it's eight reps instead of ten for the incline. Plus it's a little stronger of a muscle. Uh eight. Alright. Take this one up high. Oh. 
You want to make sure your head and neck are resting on the bench. Giving your head that support. Elbows. Making it a good stretch, keeping that butt bridged up. It's not a tricep exercise. Two more. Seven. One more. All right. Now, if you don't have a chain belt, you can just pop a dumbbell in between your legs as you cross them. I actually really like using kettlebells for my chest dips. But... In this video, I'm going to use my plate weight. Alright. Same eight. All right, so three sets, triple eights. So we got decline chest fly. Two, three. Woo! So I think the bill of my hat will block the angle anyways. From you guys seeing. Hey! Just wait. It gets better. Oh, I didn't say easier. I said better. Don't be confused. See, like normally, if I were to start it with chest dips, I could do two, three plates for eight. You gotta get over that mental. Woo. You gotta get over that mental thinking you're weak. And just understand you're making changes to that incline, which I would not have hit 205. Oh yeah, into that chest. 
for sure. Head and neck supported. Yeah. Come on, boy. That was the third set already. All right, third set. Come on, boy. Okay, we're going to finish up with some bench pressing. So, we're going to jump right into a drop set. Okay? So, we're going to do a drop set. Not only hit the long head on the tricep, but um, also, well, actually, the more tip of the long head, too, which is fantastic. All right. <clears throat> so, we're going to pile on. Um... Twenty-five on this side. <clears throat> All right. <sighs> uh. Ah. Ah. All right. Now we're jumping into skull crushers and kickbacks, followed by. So that's a super set. There's three sets, kind of bop bop, hammering them out. So we're gonna go skull crushers, <coughs> followed by kickbacks, and then the second tricep exercise is gonna be the rope tricep press downs with um. We're going to do rope tricep press downs. We're going to do them kneeling so we can get a bigger range of motion on it. Followed by um, X-Man. So nice high cables. All right. Let's keep this party going. <sighs>
<laughs> oh, one more. We're gonna go five on the heavier ones. Ah! <coughs> Followed by the kickbacks. I'm gonna take this up a little bit. All right. I must have been over for you. So kickbacks. the long head so it's really there's only a couple ways to hit the top part of the long head or where it connects up in to you know your shoulder so that way you can get a good press on that and then we're gonna follow that with a cross cable call like my, I call it X-Man it's a cross cable tricep press down and these two exercises are phenomenal here we go all right so a kneeling tricep press down So same thing, this is an eight repper. Okay, so I don't like to grab right on top of the knob, so I'm gonna grab a little bit higher than that. So we're gonna let your arms come up. It's almost like it's two motion, so it's boom, boom. Oh. Bang some more. Walk it back. Ah! Eight. Oh man, it's supposed to be 15. Lighten this up a little bit. <coughs> Got seven more. Ah, woo! All right, just banging them out. Ah, 
Don't make me cry on camera. All right. Oh man, they're cooked now. <sighs>